Hello, good evening. Hi, guys. Noe, Dora, hello, Daniel. How are you guys? Hola, chicos, bienvenidos. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos. Bien, bien, buenas noches. Hello. Hello, Oscar, how are you? Very well, teacher. You? Very good. So, how was your weekend, by the way? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana, chicos? So, you have a lot of vacations. Very good. Excellent. Tuvieron bastante vacación, ¿verdad? <laughs> este, sí, ya estábamos cansados. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start in a minute. Vamos a esperar ahí que se nos vayan incorporando los demás. Un minutito le damos. Y ya comenzamos. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome, Jonathan. Hi. Jonathan, Fran oh, Francisco, se está conectando todavía. Okay, so let's start. Hello, Jonathan, Edgar, Carmen, Francisco. No lo veo, chicos. Hello, hello. <laughs> Excelente. Carmen todavía va para la casita. Francisco, ¿dónde está Francisco? Ay. Ah, está en la casa, creo yo, no sé. Sí. Se ve sospechoso. Sí, casa. <ríe> good night. Oh, good evening, Mario. Good evening. Ay, lo siento, se conectó ayer. No. <ríe> ¿Va que no? No. Sí, es que estaba pendiente y no... Salvado por la campana. <laughs> sí, más o menos. <laughs> ok, so we're gonna start, guys. Qué bueno verlos nuevamente. Sí, ayer tuvimos un problemita, pero eh, ya estamos acá. Así que vamos a, a darle con todo otra vez. Um, ok, so just let me share with you the screen. Oh, ok, well done. But I missed you a lot. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Um let me know if you can see my screen. Me avisan ahí si ya se va viendo. Avísenme si se ve muy pequeño. Avísenme también. No, sí, claro, todo bien. Okay. Sí, se ve bien. Todo claro. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So we're going to have a short review about some things. It's about readings and conversations. So let's start. Okay, so how are you guys? Tell me, Noe, how are you? How are you today? Fantastic. Couldn't be better. Great. Pretty good. Things are good. Can't complain. Okay. Not bad. Fantastic. Right. Fantastic. Fantastic. Excellent. So look, we have, uh, I'm all right. Uh, hanging in there. Okay. Being better. No, okay. Podría estar mejor. Not so great and terrible. So I hope you're not terrible. Okay. Let's see. How about you, Mario? How were you? Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Excellent. Dora, how are you? good. Excellent. Daniel, how are you? Activate your microphone. It's off. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So, okay, you're 15 50. 50 50. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, but you're okay. Um, Oscar, how about you? Tell us, how are you? Yeah, fantastic, teacher. Fantastic. Excellent. Carmen? So, 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 you're going home. Papá la casita todavía. Then, how about you, Francisco? 
things are good. Things are good. Edgar, hello, Edgar. Great to see you. How are you? Very good. Very good. Okay. Johnny, how are you? Yeah. No bad. Not bad. Hmm. Okay. Christian Barahona. I'm fantastic. Fantastic too. And William Hernandez. Hello. Hello, how are you? Great. I'm great. great. Fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jonathan. Oh, well, Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan Martinez. How are you, Jonathan? Fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. So you sound a little bit serious. Se escucha un poquito sospechoso. Fantastic. And <laughs> okay. So he's probably thinking about something. Okay, Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. Welcome. How are you? Hello, class. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very Hi. good. Thanks. Very good. Kevin. I think that I didn't ask you. Creo que no le quiero preguntar a Kevin. Kevin, how are you? I'm <laughs> um, fantastic. Sí, si no, después me reclaman. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, that's uh, just kidding. Okay, so look at this. We're going to have a warming up activity, uh, ice breaker. And besides that, we're going to have a short review about some, well, we're going to have some practice. Okay. And we're going to talk about possessive adjectives. And besides that, we're going to have some, uh, let's say, it's worksheets where we're going to play, a play. And besides that, you're going to work on, uh, well, with somebody else, right? Okay. So let's start, guys. And we're going to start with the following thing. Just let me show you. Um, okay. So I hope you have a lot of energy today. Okay, let me see. Listen up, I'm going to send you a video, well, a link. I need you to watch the following video, okay? So open the link and open, then you open, you open the video. Entonces vamos a, le voy a enviar ahí un enlace. Primero, eh, bueno, lo puedo compartir acá, le voy a mandar los copies. Abran el enlace, abran el enlace y después vemos el video. So, you're gonna uh, observe something like this. Vamos a ir observando lo siguiente. Ahí en lo que yo les he compartido. Tenemos diferentes tres conversaciones. Tenemos tres escenas. Scene one, two, and three. And we have to watch the video and we have to try to complete that conversation with the information that we listen. Okay, vamos a ir completando estas partes de acá con la información que vayamos escuchando. Okay, so the video lasts, I don't know how much time, I think two minutes. Más o menos dos minutos dura el video. Entonces, primero, el video. Vayan tomando apuntes de lo que van viendo, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, acá, en la escena 1, cuando se pausa el video, después siguen avanzando para ir viendo, más, eh, ir viendo la siguiente escena, ¿ok? Questions, ¿todos ingresaron al enlace ya? Yes. Ok, so you can start observing that. No puedo ingresar. Eh, no me deja entrar. ¿El enlace? Ah, uh -uh. Ok, bien, vamos. Vamos a hacer algo. Voy a compartir el video. A ver si lo encontramos por acá. Los demás pueden empezar a ver su video. Y tratar de ir contestando, llenando con la información complementa para complementar ese ejercicio, ¿ok? Ya después lo vamos a compartir acá. Okay, yo les comparto el video en este momento. Ahí está el enlace.
me dicen si el video sí lo carga. Sí. Mm, también no. Okay, ahí está. El video sí me lo carga. Ok, perfecto. Ya les envío el documento para que ustedes vayan completándolo, pero lo pueden ir haciendo primero en el, en el cuaderno. Pueden ir tomando los apuntes de la información que va ahí. Lo van a ir ubicando. Ok. ¿Alguien tiene dudas de lo que estamos haciendo, chicos? Ahorita, si ustedes ven ahí el meeting chat, ya compartimos el PDF. Vean el PDF. O quienes tienen el enlace que les envié al principio, es mucho mejor, porque ahí tienen el video y yo nada más lo van adelantando y van también complementando el ejercicio. Avísenme cuando estén listos, cuando ya hayan visto el video. Y vamos primero con la primera escena, ¿ok? Scene one, we have Jill and Rachel. Okay, bien. So let's see. I think you're ready with scene one. Creo que estamos listos con la escena uno. Ready? So, so. Okay. Solo van poniendo en su paginita, en su cuaderno, lo que hace falta en estos espacios. Okay. Ya después lo pueden ustedes editar. Por el momento vamos viendo el video primero. Ok, muy bien. ¿Cuántos están listos con la escena 1? Scene 1. Hi. Conversation 1. Hi. Is Rachel here? Sí. Ok. Is Rachel here? Ok. Well. Oh so my God. It's. Ah, ok. My so... sister. I hear you. Um, okay, perfect. Um, her sister. Oh my god, Jill. Oh my god, Rachel. Oh my god, introduce us. Okay. 
<laughs> Rachel, well. No, I don't know. How is that again? Quien tiene esa ahí? Well, Chandler and you. Any idea? Vamos a ver. Vean el video ahí. Quienes no lo han abierto, ahí está en el meeting chat. Para que vayan viendo qué es lo que vamos a ir incorporando ahí. So let's listen again. Uh, hi, is Rachel here? I'm her sister. Oh my God, Jill. Oh my God, Rachel. Oh my God. Introduce us. Well, Chandler. Francisco, what do you have, Francisco? Jonathan, Dora. Me complica porque estoy en el celular. Mm, ok. Puede, lo que puede hacer es, es ver el video. Oh, están en... Creo que... Ah. Buenas noches, teacher. No sé, creo que no es buena idea que veamos el video por separado porque el mismo dispositivo que tenemos para escuchar la conferencia... Eh, en teoría el, el, el dispositivo utiliza para reproducir el video, entonces se genera problemas, al menos a mí no. O sea, tengo que dejar, no, tengo que dejar de escuchar la conferencia para ver el video. Okay. Igual me pasa a mí. Para mí igual, porque ni, ni puedo ver el video. No puede ver el video. No. Okay, well, we're going to skip this. Mm, okay. Bien, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es, se los voy a dejar que lo realicen, pero en las... Homework. Eh, Ajá, uh -huh. sí, sí, porque no lo puedo proyectar acá, si no, los copyright no nos van a dejar subir el video. Ok. Vamos a continuar entonces. So don't worry, we have more free. Yeah, I think that we have problems with the videos. Uh, sí, la cuestión es que tenemos problemas ahí con los videos de YouTube. Ahí se ocasionan dificultades. Ok. Okay, so we're going to continue with some more um, greetings. We have some many dialogues here, and look at this. We have ways to, uh, how to say a goodbye, right? So listen and practice. We have dialogue one. Is, See you later, Matthew. See you later, Matthew. Bye-bye, Lisa. See you tomorrow, Alex. Bye, Mr. Garcia. Goodbye. Have a, good, a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Yeah, dialogue number four. Hola, dígame. Uh, this is, parece que dice. Mm -hmm. eh, como que presenta a, a Chandler. A, sí. Más o menos lo entendí, pero es que se ve como una interferencia del, sí. de lo mismo de la, de la clase. De, ajá, ajá. Sí, vamos a... Vamos pero no sé a, si eso es. Esa. Sí, vamos a saltarnos esa. Vamos a saltarnos esa por, por esa situación, porque si los comprendo, se va a escuchar doble. Entonces, mejor no. Este, vamos a saltarnos y seguimos con otra. ¿Ok? 
Thank you, guys. Lo que podemos hacer es que se los voy a dejar para que lo realicen y después ustedes me envían el, el PDF. Ahí les compartí el PDF, me lo envían y ya cuando, para que ustedes lo vayan viendo, es mejor, más tranquilos y, y se escuche bien. Creo que sí tienen razón. Ok, ¿no? Ok. Ok, sí, porque me, sal, me tuve que salir para poderlo escuchar. Sí, tiene razón. Ahí vamos a mejorar eso. Ok. Ok, so look at this. So we have, well, wait, ways to say bye, right? See you later, Matthew. Vemos luego, Matthew. Bye-bye, Lisa. Conversation two. Bye, Mr. Garcia. See you tomorrow, Alex. Number three, goodbye. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Uh, dialogue four. Goodbye, Miss Chen. Have a good evening. Good night, Miss Morgan. Right? Okay, let's see. Dialogue number one. William, please. Dialogue number one. Help us. Read that. See you later, Matthew. Bye-bye, Lisa. Okay. See you later. Later. See you later. See you later. Okay. Dialogue number two. Calvin, go ahead. See you tomorrow, Alex. Bye, Mr. Garcia. Bye, Mr. Garcia. Okay. Christian, continue with dialogue number three. Uh, uh, goodbye. Have a have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Okay. And the last one. Let's see, Daniel. Hello, number four. Goodbye, Miss Chang. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. Good night, Mrs. Morgan. Mrs. Morgan. Okay. So there you have some common greetings. Let's see, we continue. And I'm gonna show you some more things that you can uh, use in order to ask uh, about some things, right? For example, look at this. Um, we have some classroom language. Uh, any questions, when we say any question, we ask, right? Uh, for questions, right? If you have questions about the class or anything else, right? Any questions mean? Alguna pregunta. About the second one, look at this. How do you say, for example, uh, any word in English? So how do you say? 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 ¿Cómo se dice? Yeah, una how do you say this in English? <laughs> the next one, how do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce this word? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta, esta palabra? What does, for example, what does it mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? What does it mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? What does it mean? Uh, and you mention a word. Y vamos a incorporando acá una palabrita. ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué quiere decir? So what's, that's the meaning. What does it mean? So what do you mean? Okay, quieres decir. What do you mean when you say this and that? Okay. Uh, what's the answer for number four? Okay, so you have to try to use the language. Entonces, ¿por qué les muestro eso? Para que ustedes vayan tratando de que todo lo que digan lo digan en inglés, okay? What's the answer for number four? What's the answer for number four? ¿Cuál es la respuesta para el número cuatro? What's the answer for number four? Can you speak more slowly? So what's the meaning? ¿Qué quiere decir? Can you speak more slowly? ¿Se puede hablar más despacio? Ajá, uh -huh. puede hablar más. Can you speak more slowly, más despacio? Más despacio, okay. Uh, excuse me, can you repeat that? Excuse me, can you repeat that? Disculpa. Disculpa, puede repetir eso. Ajá, okay. And this sure. one. Ajá, tell me. Can you make, can you make soon the picture? Oh, well, I can. Ustedes no, sí lo no pueden sé. hacer. Yo aquí ya no la puedo hacer porque ya está en full screen. Pero ustedes háganla ahí nada más con, con sus deditos. Sumen. Okay. Okay, and this one, how do you spell? How do you spell? Do you remember that? How do you spell apple, guys? Do you remember? <laughs> um, Calvin, let's see. Uh, Calvin, how do you spell the word apple? Apple. So the apple. Uh, 
Uh -huh. A. A, B, B. Okay. L. L. A. E. E. Okay. Well, so that's what you use in order to ask about some common things in English. Okay. Ese lenguaje utilizamos para hacer algunas preguntas clave eh, mientras nosotros vamos aprendiendo, right? Vamos aprendiendo el idioma. So try to use the language that you know, the questions that you know. So ask in English. Todo, todo, todo lo que ustedes aprendan, vayan implementándolo siempre, okay? So don't use Spanish, okay? Don't overuse Spanish. Okay, so let's let's repeat the, the questions that we have here. Any questions? Any questions? How do you say, how do you say in English? How do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce this word? What does it mean? What does it mean? Can you speak more slowly? Can you speak more slowly? What's the, the answer for number four? Excuse me. Can you repeat that? Excuse me. Can you repeat that? How do you spell? How do you spell? And we were practicing a lot with spellings in the previous session, right? So I hope I'm going to show you more spelling later on. But for today, we have a new topic, and we're going to be talking about possessive adjectives. Um, Edgar, can you read the class objective? Edgar, nos ayuda ahí con el objetivo de la clase, Edgar. I will, I will be able to know about positive objects and nouns. Okay, so we're going to cover these two things, possessive adjectives and nouns, okay? So you're ready for this? Yes, I think so, right? Look at this. So here we have, um, we're going to reflect on language. Here we have a grammar chart. So I need you to copy that because we're going to be studying this. Entonces, ahí sí vayan tomando apuntes para que vayamos desglosando parte por parte de lo que trata el tema, ¿ok? So we have personal pronouns. The personal pronouns replaces the subject in a sentence. Entonces, ahí Thank tenemos you. los pronombres personales y tenemos las possessive adjectives. Entonces, tenemos acá un personal pronoun, que es lo que hace? Sustituir un sujeto dentro de una oración. Es about possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives, what's the usage, cuál es el uso, vamos a ver que me ayuda a leerlo aquí, um, let's see, Christian, help me, we use possessive adjectives, here, activate your microphone, or let's see, Francisco, help me, please, se me perdió Christian ahí, we use possessive adjectives to snow, snow and push it sometimes. Okay, so we use possessive adjectives to show who owns or possesses something. Miren, los utilizamos para hablar de qué? Para mostrar a quién le pertenece o quién posee algo. Okay, and each of these personal pronouns has a possessive adjective. Entonces, cada uno de estos pronombres personales tiene un adjetivo posesivo que nos ayuda a indicar posesión. Algo me pertenece o hay una relación entre esas cosas, ok? Examples. So we're going to be checking some examples. Look at this. Look at the, look at the examples. We're, we're going to compare these two things. Subject pronouns. I have a shirt. Possessive adjective. My shirt is green. Entonces, si ustedes notan algo acá, después de un possessive adjective, lo que sigue es un sustantivo. Es decir, un animal, un objeto, ¿ok? Sustantivo. House, car, se van seguido de sustantivos. And they show us a ownership. Nos muestran pertenencia o posesión. Look at the example. I have a shirt. My shirt is green. You have a book. Your book is new. Mm -hmm. Tú tienes un libro. Tu libro es 
nuevo. Me está indicando pertenece. ¿A quién es el libro? Tuyo, suyo, right? He has a pillow. Él tiene una almohada. Tell me reading this. His pillow is soft. soft. Mm -hmm. Su almohada es suave, right? Como el amor de mamá. And uh, she has a dog. Her dog is small. Oh, no. Tiene un perrito y su perro es pequeño. Okay, so mm -hmm. don't confuse this. Um, sometimes it happens that we tend to use subject pronouns uh, oh. in the place of a possessive adjective. Oh. Oh. posible que yo ubique un subject pronoun acá? ¿Qué opinan? Un subject pronoun. No, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque va seguido de un sustantivo en este caso. Sustantivo. Y no oh, tienes... Okay. Ok, look at, the, look at this one. It. It has a bone. Ok. Tiene un hueso. Y cuando nos referimos a it, ¿a qué nos referimos? Question. It. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es indefinido. Es una cosa, algo. Indefinite. Ajá. Uh -huh. Puede ser an object, an animal, a place. Ok. Perfect. Uh, it bone is old. Ok, tiene un hueso. Su hueso es viejo. ¿El, el hueso de quién? El perrito. ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí puede reemplazar el, el nombre de un animalito. Right? We have a bird. Nosotros tenemos a bird. Our bird is noisy. Nuestro. Okay. You have a house. You have a house. Tienes una casa. ¿Cómo es tu casa? Okay, me voy a ir con el micrófono. Okay, perfect. And the last one, they have a car. Ellos tienen un carro. Their car is slow. ¿Cómo es su carro? Es lento. Entonces, uh, we have my, your, his, her, its, our, your, and their. So what you need to know is that each of these um, possessive adjectives um, has a subject pronoun, right? Or a subject pronoun has a possessive adjective. Entonces, el subject pronoun tiene un adjetivo posesivo. No puedo ubicar otro possessive adjective acá. Si me estoy refiriendo a mi persona, ahora sí estoy hablando de mí. Ok, I have a shirt. My shirt is green. You have a book. Your book is new. Tú tienes un libro. Tu libro o su libro es nuevo. Prácticamente todos tienen uh, traducciones parecidas. Mi, tú o sus. Su de él. Su de ella. It's de lo que mencionábamos acá. Forma singular, right? Object, animal, or place. Our, nuestro, your. Uh, este, es el, este es el mismo, nada más que acá eh, sería la forma plural. Sus, ¿ok? Ok, la casa de ustedes. Casa de ustedes. En their, sus, de nuevo, la casa de, ah, perdón, el carro de, de ellos. Entonces, ustedes van haciendo la relación con el subject pronoun también. Vamos acá, por acá tenemos eh, alguna información adicional. Your possessive adjective, you need to bring your dictionary. Tú necesitas traer, ¿qué cosa? Tu diccionario. Entonces ahí vemos que se cumple la regla que nos dice que eh, nos indica posesión o pertenencia. Okay? And don't confuse that with the contraction for the verb to be, you are, right? So you're an excellent student. ¿Cómo vamos a distinguir esto? Pues lo vamos a distinguir basado en el contexto. You need to bring your dictionary. Miren lo que sigue después. Un sustantivo. And you're um, an excellent student. ¿Qué sigue? Es una descripción, ¿verdad? Una descripción de alguien. Tú eres un estudiante excelente. O oh, un excelente estudiante. And we also have the same uh, situation with it's. Y tenemos también la misma situación con el, el possessive adjective it's y con la forma del verbo to be it 
is contractada. It's, it's. Es la misma pronunciación. Your, your, it's, it's. Como lo identificamos siempre es por el contexto. The dog play with its ball. El, el perro jugó, okay. jugó con su pelota. It's very hot right now. Está muy caliente ahorita. O este momento. Okay. So now I'm going to show you some more things about it. And let me see. So we're going to continue studying this. Give me one second. Okay, let me know if you can see the possessive adjectives and the old. Okay. Me dicen ahí si ya se ve. Yes. 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 Okay, so look at this. Okay. okay. So here you have a classification of them. Aquí tenemos una pequeña clasificación de possessive adjectives singulares y plurales. Look at this, my, right? My book. But you can use this with uh, plural nouns, right? Your, his, her, its. And you have some plural adjectives. Our, your, and their. Me, tu, su, de él, su, de ella, it's, para un pronom, uh, pronom, an indefinite pronom. And the plural, our, nuestro, o nuest, nuestro, nuestras, your, suyos, o de ustedes, and their, de ellos, ¿verdad? Sus, o su, de ellos. Okay. So look at this. So here we have, again, the definition. Tenemos por acá de nuevo la definición. A possessive adjective says... Who owns something? It comes before and now in the sentence. Y tenemos ahí lo que les mencionaba al principio. Un possessive adjective nos dice quién, a quién le pertenece algo y viene después, viene antes de un sustantivo en una oración. Example. My books, your pen, their crayons. Y tenemos the possessive adjective, it, it is always used with noun. Siempre se utiliza con un sustantivo. So look at the turtle, it has a shell. Lo vamos a hacer un poquito más grande ahí porque ya no se ve. Oh, well, I can do that. Ok, ahí me ayudan haciéndole zoom. Because I don't know what the hell is okay. Okay, better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahora sí, ya está mejor. Oh, okay, so look at the turtle. It has a shell. It is its shell. Okay. Miremos la tortuga. Tiene un... What's that? What's shell? What? Un caparazón. Mm -hmm. It is its shell. Es su caparazón. Okay. Look at the next example. Now look at me. I have a red ribbon. It is my ribbon. Mm -hmm. So the ribbon. Uh, let me see. Look at the, these examples. Ah, okay. So we have another one. His hat. Uh, let's see, Francisco, help us read the example. His hat. His hat is at the three corner. Three corner has his hat, and hat is not three corner. It would not be his hat. Okay, so that's a tongue twister. Okay, his hat, it has three corners. Three corners has his hat. And had it not three corners, it will not be his hat. So that's a tongue twister. Okay. What's the mean hat? Sombrero, el sombrero. Su sombrero ah. tiene tres esquinas. Tres esquinas tiene su sombrero. And had it not ha and had it not three corners, it wouldn't not be his hat. Y si no tuviera tres esquinas, no sería su sombrero. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's a tongue twister. Okay, look at the next examples. I have a cat. It is my cat. Again, so we observe the um, 
possessive adjective. Mm -hmm. And the next one, you have a rat. It is your rat. Tú tienes una rata, es tú. <laughs> he has a brow, it is his brow. She has a dog, it is her dog. It has a cage, it is its cage. Tiene una jaula, es su jaula. We have a ferret, it is our ferret. So notice that we um, use the possessive adjective with the noun. Entonces, el possessive adjective va antes, en este caso, de los sustantivos. You have a turtle, it is your turtle. They have a parrot, it is their parrot. Okay, so I think that we're ready to continue. We're going to have some more practice. And well, just give me some seconds. Okay, again, the same. So this is what we have been studying. So possessive adjectives, my, your, their, his, her, its, and our, our. My, your, their, his, her, its, and our. Okay, so now look at this. Join the pronouns with the correct possessive adjective. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to send you the link so you, if you want to work on that, so you can do it. Let me see. Okay, so go to the meeting chat and access to the worksheet. So we, we're going to do it together. Let me know when you're ready. Ready? Ready? Possessive adjective for we. So which is the possessive adjective for we, guys? ¿Cuál sería el possessive adjective para we? My, its, her, his, our, your, or their. Our. Ah, okay. Our. Perfect. How about the second one? Possessive adjective for I? I, my. 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 Okay. Ooh. Possessive adjective for he? Her. Her or his? His. his. His, right? His. Be careful with that uh, possessive adjective. You. Your. Your. Okay, your. They. They. they, 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 they how about they, it? It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Ok, nada más hay una aclaración. Cuando utilizan el uh, possessive adjective, his, recuerden que es para el pronombre él. Here, para el pronombre ella. Ok, so now let's continue with the next. Uh, complete the sentences with his, her, its, or their. Mm -hmm. Ok, number one. Hair is brown. So which could be the correct possessive adjective? Sí. His hair is brown. Hair or his? Hair, hair is brown. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. His hair. His hair. His hair. Okay, yeah, I think it's a boy. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a boy. Okay, uh, sweater is green. Hair, sweater. Hair. 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 Okay, listen up. Hair. 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 Okay, uh, how about skirts are yellow? Dair. Dair. You sure their skirts no. are yellow? Okay, ahí podría ser ahora también. Depende cómo lo planteamos. Okay, nuestras o sus. Hair is, blan uh, is blonde. What do you 
Their hair is blonde. Mm -hmm. Their hair is blonde. Okay. Bow tie is red. La corbata. La corba, la corba. It's, 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 it's. His bow tie is red. Ears are big. It. It's. Excellent. It's ears it's. are big. Are big. Why? Because we're talking about the rabbit, right? It's rabbit. Mm -hmm. Okay, well done. So now let's continue with the next four. Choose the correct words. Number one, let's see. Volunteer for number one. O sea, ¿qué me ayuda a ir leyendo la oración completa, pero con el possessive adjective, correcto? It is number one, va a ser voluntario. Voluntario víctima, Aníbal, ok. <ríe> Aníbal, it is? It is, eh, she. Mm, ok, she or her? Her, her. Her, her. Her. her? House. House. Okay. Number two, Christian. Yeah. Depende. I, I, que I have a dog. Okay. Perfect. Tienen que decir si es un pronoun o si es un possessive adjective. Uh, Fernando, help us. Fernando, number three. This is. Uh, this is uh, our firm. Our firm. Okay. Number four, Dora. Hello. They are school. They are school. They school. They are school. Dora, they are. They are school. Their school. Okay. Number five, Mario. Mario Cristobal. Come on, Mario. Activate your microphone, Mario. Number five. We are leaving Spain. We live in Spain. We live in Spain. Okay, um, Daniel. Number six. Has hair got a ruler? Mm, okay. You sure? It's a question. It's una pregunta. Una pregunta. Uh -huh. Has she got a ruler? Has she got a ruler? Sí, una pregunta. Y solo tenemos que invertir. Okay, number seven, Edgar. Activate your microphone, Edgar. Does, does are in classes. He or his? Aquellos son his glasses. Ah, okay, his glasses. Number eight, Eduardo. Alpas Eduardo. He is is my grand grandfather. Okay, my grandfather, Francisco. Grandfather. Thank you. Very good. Number nine. Mm -hmm. Help us, number nine. That is. You or your sandwich. Pretty easy. Come on, Francisco. Activate your microphone. It's your mute. Está desactivado el micrófono. That is you sandwich. Your sandwich. Your sandwich. Number 10, Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Where are you? Eduardo, help us, Eduardo. 10. Canse de los famosos anillos de Saturno. Están hechos de hielo y piedra y se extienden a la misma distancia que tiene la luna desde la Tierra. Hello, teacher. Hello. Eso fue un cometa. Es escuchado. 
esas cosas de cola larga son legs, esas cosas de hielo que se precipitan. Sería eh, it. It's, it's, okay. It's or it. the first one or the second one? La primera o la segunda. The first. Mm, okay, this is contraction for bird to be. It is legs or short. Guys, what yes. is... ¿Qué opinan los demás, chicos? Las piernas son cortas. Number one or number two? Number two. two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Okay. Number two, pero estamos hablando de sus... Piernas. Sus piernas son cortas. Sus piernas son cortas, right? De la rana. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Eleven, help us. He has a car. Hers. Hers. He has a car here. Car is red. Hers. He has a car. is red. He has a car. Yes. Is right. Right. Ok, muy bien, acá con el pronombre he utilizamos Ok, I have a dog Tail is long, la cola es larga La cola es larga La cola es larga It's, it's, it's tail is long, su cola es larga Tail is long Okay, so choose the correct word for the next one. You have uh, the following. See, number one, help us with number one, Christian. Number one, they have two daughters. Here, he's there or our. They. Okay. There. Their daughters are pretty. He has new shoes. These are guys, uh Dora or anybody else, guys? His shoes. Él tiene zapatos nuevos. Estos son sus zapatos nuevos. Number three. Help me. Number three. Number three, guys. I have some comic books. These are my, my his. Huh? Okay, yo tengo algunos libros uh, with comics. Estos son mis libros. Uh, mm -hmm. Number four, we have a puppy we love. Ours. Ours. Ours, puppy. Okay, Sally has a wallet. Here. Hair. 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 Okay. Look at the pirate. It's. It's feathers are. It's far, are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sus plumas son hermosas. Mrs. War has a baby. Mrs. War has a baby. What do you think, chicos? Hair. Hair. Baby. Hair. My baby's baby. baby. Okay. Look at the giraffe. Neck is it's, not. It's, it's, it's I know James. I know James. He's. 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 my classmate. Excellent. He's. 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 have a truck. He's. 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 My sister and I have a piano. We like our, our, our piano. Our piano. You look tired. Seven cans. Your <laughs> your eyes are your eyes red. Are... Listen, don't cry. And this one, I don't know what happened with this one. It's okay, look at this. So we have a house complete the, with the right possessive I to you. You have a nice watch. I like. Tú tienes un reloj hermoso. Me gusta. I like. Your watch. Your watch. Bob has a cat. Yeah. 
he, it's cat. His. Okay. His. Bob has a cat. His cat is a very cute. You got it? Bob. Okay. I have a new backpack. My bike. My backpack is big. Okay, number four. Clara has a new bag. Here. Uh -huh. Her new bag is brown. Sara and Anne have two cousins. Cousins? They are. They are. Okay. Number six. The Dave has a brother. Brother is short. He's. 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 Okay. Tommy has a dog. It's color. It's color. Excellent. We live in London. Our, 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 city. our city is the capital of England. They have bikes. They are big bikes. Their bikes are in the garage. Okay. She has a, ta a tablet. Here. Her tablet is pink. Okay, my dress is pink, but my mm -hmm. my buttons are white. I have two rabbits. Ah, okay. So look at it. my dress is pink, but my buttons are white. It's uh, pure. It's Okay, mi vestido es rosado, pero sus botones son blancos. Blanca. So then, vestido, right? El vestido. Estamos hablando del vestido. Uh, I have two rabbits. Its, uh, its ears are very long. My brother and I love our 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 our. our, our. Perfect. And we have some more. And we want, okay. Look at this. Correct the underlying words. I have a sister. His name is Mandy. Tenemos que corregir. Ajá, tenemos que corregir los eh, possessive adjectives que están ahí subrayados. I have a sister. His name is Mandy. Her name oh. is Mandy. Her, her name. Perfect. We are classmates. Oh, teacher. Uh huh. Our teacher is Mr. Jackson. Number three. It is a squirrel. It. It. Uh huh. Su cola es larga. Okay. Jason has a brother. Her brother is older. Yeah. He's. 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 Perfect. You have a total. Its total is green. Your. Yeah. Mm. Your total is green. They live in a flat. They live in an apartment. This flat is. Uh -huh. Their flat is on the second floor. It's a cat. Her cat is white. Okay, awesome. It's Lucy and Anne's birthday. Her birthday is in June. There. There. Okay. It's Anne's party today. It's its birthday. What do you think? Yeah. It's Ben's party today. It is? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's, it's party. Thanks. My dogs are happy. It's its birthday today. It's mm, no, but but that's what seems. My dogs are happy. I have a plural uh, plural subject. My dogs. It. Uh huh. It. Dogs are happy. It is. It, their birthday today. Acá tenemos un sustantivo, un sujeto plural. Entonces ahí lo cambiamos por their. Okay. So and we have another one. So complete with the right possessive. Jenny and Nick are from Bath. Sarney is Bill. 
analyze the first one. Jenny and Nick are from Bath. Surname is Bell, el apellido. So which is the correct possessive? Correct possessive, guys. Calvin, Francisco, Jonathan, Daniel, Fatima, Dora, Carmen. It's there. Okay. Uh -huh. There. 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 Okay. Friends, Tom and Amanda are from Bath, too. They're, they're friends. Mm -hmm. Your friends. Your friends. Mm, okay, Jenny and Nick are from Bath. Jenny and Nick son the Bath. Su apellido es Bell. Amigos, Don y Amanda son the Bath también. They are. They Jenny's 11 in. Brother Nick is 12. He. He. He's. Okay. Chip is. It's Joe. Mm -hmm. Let's read it again. Jenny's 11 and his brother Nick is 12. Chip no. is it. Her dog. Her dog. Her dog. His dog. Her dog. There. Her dog. Tail is short. It. 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 Okay. Its tail is short. School is in Park Street. Oh. Our oh. school is in Park Street. Name is it, Park Street School. Its name. Its name. Okay. Jenny likes math. Teacher's name is Paul. Their teachers. Mm -hmm. Jenny likes math. Their teacher's name is Paul. You sure? Like science. Okay. Um, Hair, right? Jenny likes math. Her teacher's name is. Oh. Mm -hmm. La maestra de Jenny, right? Nick likes science. Her teacher names. His, His teacher name. Teacher. Okay, perfect. And the last one we have. Okay. Oh. Our parents oh. are teacher. Our parents. Okay, so complete the table. Complete the table with this one. We have a um, pronoun I possessive adjective for bike. My bike. My. Possessive adjective for you? Your. Your. Possessive adjective for um, he? Uh, his. His. For she? Her. 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 Okay. Possessive adjective for uh, it? It. 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 Okay. Who? Uh, we? Our. Our. And the last one? There. 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 Okay. Perfect. So now we continue. I want to send you to work on another one because that was too much. So I'm just going to show you some more and we're going to check. We're going to work on a speaking activity. So we're going to fill in the blanks with the correct possessive adjective. Look at this. So we have Kelly and Lawrence. Hi, Lawrence. How is possessive adjective? How is your family doing? your family doing okay hi kelly thank you for asking my family my is family. great my family is great we moved into In uh -huh. a nuestra nueva casa uh, last week. we're very excited kelly wow congratulations how do you like mm -hmm. Your. Your, okay. Neighborhood. Your neighbor. Is it nice? We love our, our neighborhood. 
The neighbors are friendly. They have a beautiful dog. What is the name of? Your. Your dog, okay. How about this one? Name is Sophia. It's. It's. Okay, its name is Sophia. Any, your, uh, okay, your new house, do you like it? Do you like your new house? Yes, it is comfortable for me and? My, my family. My family. <laughs> we are excited for? Our. Our, our future there. Awesome. Great seeing you. I hope all the best for you and my your family. Your family. Your family. Acá um, este esa no va. Sería en solo una de ahí. In your new house, do you like it? In your new house, do you like it? Esa y no. Okay, es una de. Okay, so we're gonna practice the dialogue and then we're gonna practice in the breakout rooms. Uh, but I'm gonna pass attendance, please. So I'm just going to ask you for um, okay, a couple of minutes. We're gonna wait while it charges. Vamos a ahí que cargue mientras seguimos practicando ahí la conversión. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, Lawrence. So listen up and repeat that with me. Hi, Lawrence. How is your family doing? Hi, Lawrence. How is your family Hi. doing? Hi, Lauren. Hi, Lawrence. How is your family doing? Hi, Kelly. Thank you for asking. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Thank, you for Thank, asking. Asking. Thank you for asking. My family is great. My family is great. Right. My family, family is great. My family, My family is great. Is great. We moved into our new house last weekend. We moved into our new house last weekend. We are excited. We are very excited. We are very excited. Wow, congratulations. How do you like your new your neighborhood? Wow, congratulations. How do you like your neighborhood? Okay. Is it nice? Is it nice? Is it nice? Is it nice? nice. Is it nice? Nice. It is nice. Ah, opposite. Is it nice? Is it nice? Is it nice? Is it nice? Okay. We love our neighborhood. 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 We love our neighborhood. 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 So what's the neighborhood? What do we mean with neighborhood? ¿Qué significa? El vecindario, la colonia, okay? The neighbors, neighbors are friendly. The neighbors, neighbors are, are friendly. Okay, are los vecinos friendly. son? Amigables. Amigables. No, no voy a decir lo que están pensando. <laughs> the neighbors are friendly. Comunicativo. They have a beautiful dog. Okay, they have a beautiful dog. What, okay, what is the name of your dog? What is the name of your dog? It's uh, name, I... Sophia. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> and yeah, besides that, if you if this animal has a name, you can also use here. Her name is Sophia because it has a name. Entonces ahí como tiene un nombre de persona también podríamos ubicar ahí here. Okay, in your new house, in your new house. Do you like it? 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 Okay, yes, it is very comfortable. It is very comfortable. It is comfortable. 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 And my family. We're excited for our future there. Future. 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 Future, future there. Future. We're excited. Excited. 
for we're excited excited oh future there future okay future awesome great seeing you great seeing you i hope all the best for you and your family Okay. okay, so I'm gonna pass it then. Uh -huh. Excuse Tell me, me. Eh, in la in la oración donde dice que cuál es el nombre del perro ah, es eh, your sería el correcto porque está hablando del perro de los vecinos. Veamos. Okay, pero la What's la... the name of your dog? Okay, we love our neighborhood. Amamos nuestro vecindario. The neighbors are friendly. They have a beautiful dog. What is the name of your... Ah, okay. Mm, yeah, you're right. Sí, tiene razón. ¿Cuál es el nombre de, de su perro? Sí, pero aquí estamos hablando de ellos. ¿no? Thank you. Thank you so much. And we continue with the next one. Okay, um, I'm going to stop sharing. Listen up. Uh, Calvin Alexander Hernández Ramírez, me ayudan ahí chicos con la asistencia. Say present, please say present. present. Okay. Present. Thank you. Cristian Vladimir Corbera Barahona. Present. Thank you. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Thank you. Dora Trinidad Cornejo Cepeda. Thank you, Dora. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Edgar Edenilson. Thank you, Edgar. Eduardo Romero Reyes. Present. Thank you. Fátima Alexandra Martínez Pineda. Present, teacher. Fátima Fernando Ramírez Monge. Fernando. Present, teacher. Excuse me. Fernando. Okay, Fernando. Gloria Evelyn Mengíbar de Castellón. Gloria Evelyn. ¿Está por ahí? Okay. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Johnny. Jonathan David Martínez Escobar. Jonathan David. José Carlos López. Sí. José Efraín Ramírez. Jocelyn Marlene Mengíbar Álvarez. Is Jocelyn here? Jocelyn Marlene. It's weird. Juan Francisco Montoya Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alonso Lobato. Present teacher. Thank you. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. And Oscar Antonio Guevara. Present teacher. Okay. So okay, so we continue. Um, look at this. And the last one is William Vladimir Hernández Zapata. Present. Okay. Yeah, mencionamos a todos. Hay alguien que no me no hemos mencionado. A mí no me mencionó. <laughs> ¿Quién? Perdón. Vamos a ver. Anyway. Es que ingresé con con el cel, pero me estaba fallando mucho. Por eso me, vol me volví a ingresar con la compu. O sea, ah, por eso. Okay. Ahorita verificamos. Ah, ok. No es Aníbal. Igual. Ok. Thank you, Noé. Ok. Ok, so listen up. Uh, right now we're going to do the following. I'm going to show you the um, conversation and we're going to practice with the dialogue. Vamos a practicar la siguiente conversación. So this is the one that we have been practicing. Okay, so listen up. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, Lawrence. How is your family doing? How is your family doing? How is your family doing? Hi, Kelly. 
Thank you for asking. My family is great. We moved into our new house last weekend. We're very excited. Wow, congratulations. How do you like your neighborhood? Is it nice? We love our neighborhood. The neighbors are friendly. They have a beautiful dog. What is the name of their dog? Its name is Sofia. In your new house? Okay, recuerden que aquí vamos a corregir eso. Porque ahí no está bien hecho, okay? Que sería una D. Let me replace that with a D. Okay, D. And your new house? Do you like it? Yes, it is very comfortable for me and my family. We're excited. We are excited for our future there. Awesome. Great seeing you. I hope all the best for you and your family. Okay, so now I need you to take a screenshot. Okay, get a screenshot. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Vamos a tomarle dos capturas. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, second part. Second and last part. Okay, ahora. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. So we're going to practice the, the dialogue. Okay. So I, uh, please, join the breakout rooms. Okay. Creamos las salas, chicos. Vámonos uniendo. Ya paso por ahí por los grupos. Ok, bien, veamos. ¿Hay quienes uh, no, les, no les ha parecido aún la invitación, chicos? Carmen, Cristian, Fátima, Jonathan, me indican. No, no me parece. Um, ok, Carmen. Y Char, yo estaba escuchando, pero es que tengo aquí eh, un inconveniente con mi bebé, por eso solo estoy escuchando ahorita. De acuerdo, Fátima. Jonathan, hola Jonathan. Ya le debe de aparecer Carmen, uno, tal vez un minuto. Eh, Fátima, lo que puede hacer, si sí, puede unirse también a la sala para estar de oyente, no, no hay problema. Ah, ok, teacher, está bien. Pero sí. no, bueno, ahorita me voy a unir. No, no hay problema para que los escuche. Permítanme. Ay, ya van a cerrarlo. No, grabando está. Sí. Sí, es cierto. Ay, pensé que estaba. Ay, espérenme. Pensé que esta cosa no quiere. No, ya llegó. Ahí okay. está el primero. Ahí va el primero. No sé, ahí me dicen si se ve porque estaba abusada. Bien ah, no, se ve bien. Se ve bien. Este... ¿Qué le iba a hacer Carmen entonces? Ay, ya ¿Quién se soy me yo? Esta cosa. Bye.
Entonces, con el primero. Digo yo que sí. Vale. Por... Bye. Ajá. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. ¿Qué practica primero? ¿Con Aníbal o conmigo? Ay, bien, si no, no repartimos. Vaya, chivo. Este. Vaya. Kelly tú... tiene. Ah. Uno, dos. En la, la primera parte tres. tenés. Vaya. Ok. Si quiere, hacemos un y una. Vaya. Kelly con D primero y de ahí Kelly con Aníbal. Aníbal, es verdad. Sí. Vaya. Ah, pues entonces empiezo. Eh, hi, no sé cómo se dice esa palabra. Lawrence. 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 How Lawrence. is your family doing? Voy yo o Aníbal. Sí. No usted. Dele, dele. Hi Kelly. Thank you for. Ay, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Asking. Thank you for you. Oskin. Asking, 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 creo que es. Asking. 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 My family is grief. We move it. We move it into. In, into. Oh, into. 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 Oh, new house last weekend. We are very excited. No sé si pronuncia así. Excited. 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 Lo intento de nuevo. Otra vez o cómo? Ajá, se llama. Excited. 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 Hi, Kelly. Voy yo. Wow, congratulations. How do you like your? Uh, wow, congratulations. How do you like your? Esa palabra no la no la puedo pronunciar. Neighbor. 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 Ajá. Neighbor. Neighbor. La primera. Neighbor y después hood. Neighbor. Ajá. Es el problema que como son palabras compuestas. Ajá. Okay. Wow. Congratulations. How do you like your neighborhood? It it is nice. Is it? Uh, it is nice. Is it nice? Is it nice? Is it? Es una pregunta. Vaya, ahora voy yo ahora. Pa, ajá. We love all night. ¿Cómo era? <laughs> neighborhood. 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 The neighborhood are friendly. They have a beautiful dog. What is the name of their dog? It is nice, it's Sofia. It's, it's. Oh, es cierto. It's, it's nice, it's Sofia. Es una perrita bien bonita. Uh, name. <laughs> it's name, it's Sofia, yeah. It's name, it's Sofia. Mm. Vaya, ahora con, con Antonio. Vaya, Aníbal. Uh, aquí, aquí en, en Kelly, no. O comenzando. Ok, ¿no la tienen ustedes ahí para compartirla? Eh, no, lo que pasa es que ahí como la está mostrando la teacher, está bien. Es que en el teléfono es bien pequeño. Ok. Pero. La compañera la compartió aquí por, por el grupo de WhatsApp, pero... Comenzamos nuevamente, ¿no? Sí. Ajá. Hagamos algo. Si quieren. Ajá. Uh, si sí, queremos, queremos. Vale, hagamos una, una para avanzar, una, un renglón cada uno. Ajá. Para que participemos los tres, pues. Ajá. 
Es que así pensé que íbamos a hacer. Sí, yo por eso. No, la, la, la emoción, la emoción. Ustedes... La emoción, estamos bien emocionados, compañeros. Si bien. quiere, hoy digo yo la, la que usted dijo, este. Seguridad. Ah. Bueno, yo creo ya. que ya. Es lo que hacemos. Que... Nos pasaron ya la. No, todavía no, chicos. Todavía no. Ah, okay. Pueden seguir trayendo. Ah, pues seguimos Vaya. otra vez. Vaya, pues, otro cambio. Ahí. De nuevo? Sí. Espérenme, voy a buscarla de nuevo porque me había salido. Yo también. Pensé que nos iba a sacar. No. Vaya. Ah. Hi, Lawrence. How Hi. is your family doing? Hi, Kelly. Thank you for asking. My family is great. We moved into our new house last weekend. We are very excited. Wow, congratulations. How do you like your neighborhood? It is nice. We love our neighborhood. The neighborhoods are friendly. They have a beautiful dog. Hmm. What is, what is the name of their dog? Its name is Sofia. And your new house, do you like it? Yes, it's a very comfortable for me and my family. We are excited for our future there. Are we some great thing? Great seeing you, seeing you. I hope all the best for you and your family. Bye. Esa palabra me cuesta. ¿Cuál? Esa de, ¿cuál es? Seeing, S-E-E-I-N-G. Ah, seeing. Seeing. Sí, sí, yo también no, sí, no sé cómo es. Sí. Ajá, se los puedo poner por acá, chicos. Sí, yo. Bueno. Vale. Ahora de nuevo. Vale. Ahora. Vale. Yo soy Kelly. Ajá. Bueno. Well, congratulations. How do you like your neighborhood? It's nice. We love our neighborhood. The neighbors are friendly. They have a beautiful dog. Uh, what is the name of their dog? Its name is Sophia. Any your new house? Do you like it? Yes, it's very comfortable. For me and my family, we are excited for our future there. Awesome. Great seeing you. I hope all the best for you and, family, and your family. Awesome, guys. Okay, so we're going to go back. How many times do you practice? ¿Cuántas veces practicaron ya? Uh, la sexta, la séptima y varias. Tampoco. <risa> <risa> ok, let's go back. Estoy bromeando. Bueno, gracias. Vamos a molestarla. <risa> ah, bueno. Okay. <risa> ok, so let's go back. Ah, regresamos entonces.
Okay, so we're gonna listen just to some of you and let's see, volunteers, volunteers. So we're gonna escuchar los primeros voluntarios. Let's see, Calvin and Daniel. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> Hi, Lawrence, how is your family doing? How is your family doing? My family is great. Mm -hmm. Continue. We moved into. Uh, Uh, into our new house. Okay, aquí se los he puesto, pero está, está vacío. Util, pueden utilizar el que ustedes tienen. Hello, hello. Empezamos de nuevo, Daniel. Okay. Hi, Lawrence. How is your family doing? Continue, let's see. Um, okay, uh, Niva. Hi, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you for asking. My family is great. We moved into our new house last weekend. We are, we are very excited. Continue, Daniel, Kelly. Wow, congratulations. How do you like your neighborhood? Is it nice? Continue, Aníbal, continue. Below, below our neighborhood, the neighbors are friendly. They have a beautiful dog. What, what is the name of their dog? It's name uh -huh. is Sophia. And your new house, do you like it? Yes, it is it is it is very comfort, comfort, comfortable for me and my family. We are excited for our future day day. Okay, future. 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 Yeah. How song great awesome. saying you. Awesome. Awesome. How, how great saying you. I hope all best all the best for you and your family. Okay, thank you. Let's see, we're gonna check some words. Um okay. How is your family doing? I'm gonna write the words over here. Doing doing, doing. hi Kelly. Thank you for asking. Asking. My family is great. Okay, my family is great. My family is great. Let me check the next one. Okay. My family is great. Uh, we moved, 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 moved into, into our new house last weekend. We are excited. Excited, e e excited, excited. Estamos muy emocionados, right? We're very excited, excited, excited. Wow, congratulations. How do you like your neighborhood? How do we pronounce this, right? So let me move this a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna move it over here. Okay, neighbor, neighborhood. 
Okay, neighborhood, neighborhood. Okay, and um, is it nice? We love our neighborhood. The neighbors, neighbors, again, neighbors are friendly. They have a beautiful dog. What is the name of its dog? Its name is Sophia. And in your new house, do you like it? Yes, it is very comfortable. Comfortable. Listen. Comfortable. 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 Okay. Comfortable. Are you going to say comfortable? I say comfortable, comfortable. Um, okay, for me and my family, we're excited for our future. Future, 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 something like this. Future, okay, future, future. Or you can say future, okay, future, 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 future. It's the nature. same as the word nature. Nature. Listen. Nature. 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 Future, nature. nature. Okay. Uh, there. So this is just there. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Great seeing you. Seeing. Great seeing you. I hope all the best for you and your family. Again, doing, asking, great, moat, into, excited, neighborhood, neighbors, comfortable, future. Okay, we have the word nature. They're awesome, awesome, and seem awesome, awesome, same. Okay. Scene. Okay, scene. let's see. So now that we have checked that, I need some volunteers. Let's see, we have, um, okay, uh, Carmen, Carmen, and let's see my friend, Eduardo. Okay, Eduardo, go ahead. Hi, Lauren, how... Hi, Lauren. How are, how is your family doing? Eduardo, Eduardo, activate your microphone, Eduardo. Yo soy Lawrence. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi, Kelly. Thank you for asking. Um, permítame, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> acá están, acá están, miren, solo que no se les he puesto ahí. Aquí están. Es que aquí las andaba en el, en el chat del WhatsApp. Pero... Está mal listo. <laughs> my, my. Vaya, hoy sí. My. Ok, vaya. Hi, Kelly. Thank you for asking. My, my family is great. We move it in, in into our new house life with Kim. Nice. We are very excited. Permita me. Wow. Excited. How do you like your neighborhood? Lo repito. Okay. Sí. Por favor. Bye. Hi, Kelly. Thank you for asking. Asking, asking. Asking, okay. Hi, Kelly. Thank you for ask, asking. My family is great. We moved in old new house last weekend. We are very excited. Excited. Excited, excited. Excited, okay. Excited. Continue, Carmen. Wow. Wow. 
Activate your microphone, it's off. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, congratulations. How do I, perdón. How, uh, wow, congratulations. How do you like your neighborhood? Is it nice? We love our neighborhood. The neighbors are friend, friendly. Mm -hmm. They have a beautiful dog. What is the name of their dog? It's night is Sophia. Continue, Carmen. In. Okay. Annie, your new. Annie, your new house. Do you like it? Okay, listen, listen. In. In. Ok, acá pido disculpas ahí porque está, hay un error de escritura. En. Es ese en. Ajá. En. 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 Your new house. Ok. House. 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 Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Ok. Uh, repeat it again, please, Carmen. Ok, leo la parte de arriba entonces, lo rojo. Uh, no, solamente modifiquemos este any. Bye. And your name, I put And your new house. House. The house. 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 Lo siento, es que House. Do you like it? It. Do you like it? It. Do you like it? Ok. Yes. It is. Very comfort, comfortable for me and my family. We are excited for our future there. Future, future, future. Mm -hmm. Future. Okay, hello. Well, repeat. Yes, it is very comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable. Comfortable for me and my family. We are excited. Ick. Excited. Excited. Mm -hmm. Excited for all. Future there. Future. Future. Future there. Are we some great saying you? I hope all the best for you and your family. Okay. Awesome. 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 Listen. Awesome. 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 And okay. Awesome. Let me see. I think that I have another word. Okay, well, I forget it. Um, okay, so let's continue. Let's see two more. Um, volunteers. Volunteers, sorry. Dog is too noisy. Okay, Francisco, you're ready. <laughs> Okay, Francisco and yes. Dora, okay, Dora. Boy. <laughs> so I tell you. Oh, yes. I'm Kelly. Okay, go ahead. Let's go. Hello, how is your family doing? Hi, Kelly. Thank you for asking. My family is great. We moved into our new house last weekend. You are very excited. Wow, congratulations. Do, do you like your neighborhood? It is nice. 
We love our neighborhood. The neighbor are friendly. They have a beautiful dog. What is name of their dog? His name is Sophia. In your, in your new house, do you like it? Yeah, it's very comfortable. But in my family, we are idiots for our future there. Awesome, great seeing you, seeing you. I hope all the best for you and your family. Okay, thank you guys. So we're gonna check some words, okay? Look at this, so I need to listen to this and just give me one second, I'm gonna share the sound. Okay, listen. Excited, excited. Excited, excited. Excited. You can say excited. 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 Podríamos decirlo así o podríamos decirlo. Excited. 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 Okay. And the other word is this one. Comfortable. 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 Listen. Comfortable. 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 Acá. Tenemos que aquí tenemos un now. Comfortable. Listen. Comfortable. 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 Okay, es otra forma. Comfortable. 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 Y hay una más parecida a la escritura. Comfortable. 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 Okay. So this is British. Comfortable. 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 So you Comfortable. Ahí ustedes eligen cualquiera. Comfortable. Comfortable. La primera que les mencioné después. Comfortable. 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 Mm -hmm. Comfortable. Or you decide if you use uh, the first one. And um, let me see. You, um, okay, this one. Great. How do you pronounce that one? Great. Ah, okay. Great. Listen. Great. 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 Okay. Great. And yeah, right. Great. Great. And oh, okay. Awesome. My pedi and stuff. Awesome. 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 An awesome sight. Awesome beauty power. They had an awesome task ahead. You have an awesome task ahead. Tienen una tarea super chill for them. <laughs> okay, listen up. I'm gonna share. I don't know if you have any other question about it. And okay, so I'm gonna request from you to open your manuals. Okay. Let me see. So I'm going to show you the manual for a while. I'm going to mostrar ahí el manual por un momento. And look at this. So we have been working with these activities. This is on page, um, page number okay. 16. Page number 16. Look at this. So we have been checking possessive adjectives. Ask a partner to spell the following information and write it on the spaces. Use capital letters for proper nouns. Your teacher's name, a classmate's occupations, your classmate's name, and a classmate's last names. Just to finish, we're going to observe how do we use uh, uh, possessive nouns. Entonces, nada más para complementar con lo que nos muestran ahí. 
Le vamos a mostrar lo siguiente. So this is related to a possessive nouns, okay? Or the possessive case. Entonces tenemos ahí también un uso del eh, caso genitivo o sustantivos posesivos. Lo que dice, ¿qué es lo que hacen? El uso es similar, es igual prácticamente lo que cambia es la estructura. ¿Cómo lo van a escribir? Entonces, es el mismo uso que los possessive adjectives. They show that a person, animal, place, thing, or idea has or owns something. Entonces, ellos muestran que una persona, animal, lugar o cosa o idea tiene o pertenece o le pertenece a algo, right? Entonces, siempre seguimos hablando de posesión. Look at this. Use possessive Ok. Ahí están ahí, si ya se ve mejor ahí. ¿Se ve bien ahí? Yes. Yes. Ok, thank you. So look at this. So use possessive nouns to show that something belongs to somebody para mostrar que algo pertenece a alguien. Example, gringo has a boat. This is Gringo's boat. ¿Y qué es lo que hacemos con este possessive case? Possessive noun. Lo que hacemos es utilizar un apóstrofe. Vean acá, acá. Esta parte de acá. Ahí. This is Gringo's boat. Es ese D que nosotros utilizamos en español. ¿Ok? El bote de Gringo. La casa de Gringo. La, I don't know. So we use that apostrophe in order to express that idea in English. Entonces utilizamos el apóstrofe y no es la contracción del verbo to be. Miren, va seguido de un sustantivo, por eso se llaman possessive nouns. Entonces, estamos mostrando pertenencia de algo, uh, a que a alguien le pertenece algo, right? En Lecatis tenemos un segundo uso. To explain the relationship between two or more people. También lo podemos utilizar para explicar la relación entre dos o más personas. So Gringo has a sister. This is Gringo's sister. Veamos. Aquí tenemos nuestro determiner. And we have a bird to be in Gringo's sister. Esta es la hermana de quién? De Gringo. Ajá, entonces quiere decir que lo usamos para mostrar también una relación eh, familiar, por ejemplo, de amistad, ¿ok? Um, to talk about shops, también usualmente ustedes van a observar que eh, en algunas tiendas de aquí del país se hace eso, ¿verdad? Para hablar de algunas tiendas, el, el nombre de la tienda lleva ese apóstrofe y ese S, ¿qué quiere decir? Gringo is at the grocers, gringo está... Al, Tienes el supermercado ahí. En The Green Grocers. This shop sells fresh fruit and vegetables. En el supermercado. Entonces, esto es usualmente parte del nombre. Parte del nombre. Y por eso se ubica ahí también. Entonces, puede ser parte del nombre. Puede ser para indicar una relación. O puede ser para indicar posesión. So, now, look at this. We have... Okay. Okay. The possessive case for people and animals. Entonces se llama caso posesivo para personas y animales. Singular nouns, cats, dogs. Okay. We add apostrophe S for singular nouns. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que a los sustantivos singulares, por ejemplo, gato, perro, or book, for example, apple, or any other... Uh, Ok, for animals and, and people. En este caso sería, perdón, ahí estaba confundido. Es para personas y animales. The cat, the dog, como tenemos ahí. The parrot. The bird. The bird, ok. Para este caso, cuando usted, nosotros tenemos sustantivos singulares y queremos hacer posición, vamos a agregar apóstrofe S, apóstrofe S, apóstrofe S, ¿ok? Para indicar que vamos a hacer una posición. 
por ejemplo, the cat's tail, quiero decir, la cola del, del oh, gato. Yeah. The dog's paws, ok. Las marquitas del, del perro, las patitas. Parrots, the parrots. Feathers, las plumas del, del parrot, the birds, eyes, los ojos de, uh -huh. uh -huh. los ojos del pájaro, and bears, okay, ears, las orejas de oso. Entonces nosotros estamos indicando posesión con este apóstrofe esa s, pero no tenemos que tener cuidado y no confundirlo con el uso del del verbo to be, right? Ahora, ¿cómo puedo continuar ahí? Cat's tail, uh, it's, me ven acá, it is, o puede ser contractado, contracta, right? It's, 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 it's long, ok? Cat's tail, it's long. Completo ahí mi oración. The cat's tail is long, ok? It's long. Entonces, ustedes notan acá. Yo ya utilicé, ya utilicé acá en el caso posesivo, haciendo aquí el apóstrofe con la S, indiqué qué es lo que posee o qué le pertenece, qué cosa al, al animal, y luego agregué el verbo to be ahí, right? The cat's tail is long. La cola del gato es larga. Entonces, esto se utiliza para indicar posesión. So that's that's the possessive case. So this can happen with people and animals. Entonces puede pasar con personas y animales. Ahora veamos otro caso. Plural nouns ending in S. Sustantivos que terminan en S. Cats and dogs. The cats. Food. La comida de quién? Chicos, los gatos. La comida de los gatos. Entonces, cuando tenemos acá un sustantivo plural que termina en S, solamente agregamos el apóstrofe acá e ubicamos acá la cosa poseída, la comida de los gatos. Ok, ahí ya cambió. The dogs, ok. Bait. Is empty. Ok. El plato de quién? Los perros. De los perros. Está vacío. Está vacío. Miren, aquí está el verbo to be. Esto no es el verbo to be. Acá está ubicado. Y solo estoy indicando una posesión. The dog's play is empty. Ahora sigamos con el otro. Uh, plural nouns not ending in s. Tenemos algunos sustantivos que no terminan en, uh, en s, ¿verdad? Como es lo común. Entonces, son sustantivos irregulares. Por ejemplo, child, children, woman, women, man, men. Son algunos de los ejemplos comunes. ¿Cómo sería un ejemplo? Children's, miren, no estoy diciendo, no estoy pluralizando ahí la palabra, ¿verdad? Sino que estoy indicando, voy a indicar una posición. Children's toys are broken. Vamos a ver, ahí complemento con da. Los juguetes, ¿de quiénes? De los niños. Están. De los niños. Están, están rotos. Están rotos. rotos. Uh -huh. Y así tenemos esos casos también que no terminan en S, como ship and deer, y son sustantivos plurales. Entonces tienen las dos formas, singular y plural. Son algunos, estos son dos ejemplos de ello. Uh, now, look at this. También con los nombres, no solamente con, perdón, no solamente con animales, sino también con personas. Por ejemplo, Let's see, uh, Carmen, for example. Carmen's house, okay. House is, mm -hmm. 
Let's speak. Example, sí. la casa de Carmen. De Carmen, grande. Okay. Will, okay, William, Williams, watch is on the table. El reloj de William está sobre, sobre la mesa. Entonces, cuando tenemos sustantivos singulares, agregamos apóstrofe S, luego va lo que vamos a indicar que pertenece a esa persona. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si tenemos un sustantivo que termine en S? Carlos, solamente agregamos S, Carlos, Carlos Book, el libro de Carlos. Ahora, podría, ok, vamos a, vamos a dejarla completa la oración. Carlos Book is, ok, read. Ahora, quiero pluralizar, ya no quiero hablar solamente de Carmen o de William o de Carlos, ahora quiero pluralizar. Carlos en... Okay, en Carmen Books. Ok, veamos ahí. Los libros de Carlos y Carmen. Cuando pluralizamos así, tenemos dos personas a las cuales le pertenece esto. Vamos a ubicar el apóstrofe en el último, el último nombre que mencionamos. Entonces sería Carmen. Podría ser que también... Carlos en Carmen's book. Podría ser también un sustantivo singular, ¿verdad? Aquí podría ser varios, puede ser uno, ¿verdad? Los libros de Carlos y Carmen o el libro de Carlos y Carmen. Entonces, ¿qué pasa acá? Nada más va a ir cambiando la forma del verbo. ¿Tú viste? Los libros de Carlos y Carmen son los libros, ¿verdad? Los libros son interesantes. Interesting. Carlos en Carmen's book is a boring. El libro de Carlos y Carmen es aburrido. Entonces, ahí tenemos también una forma de indicar, ahí hacerlo plural, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. And just to conclude, ya solo terminamos aquí para que ustedes puedan trabajar en una actividad bien pequeñita, la actividad que van a hacer en esa página. Y quiero complementarlo aquí con eso. También tenemos el caso posesivo para cosas. No sé si copiaron esta parte de acá, chicos. Vamos a más pequeño. ¿Me indican ahí? O si le tomaron captura. Captura. Sí, pero pero copienlo. Cámbienlo en el cuadernito para que le quede ahí. Ok, look at this. Uh, we have the possessive case for things. También tenemos el caso posesivo para cosas. Y aquí viene el famoso of que, les, que, que decimos en español nosotros. The walls of the house, nouns naming things. Sustantivos para nombrar cosas. ¿Qué pasa con las cosas? ¿Utilizamos el apóstrofe y la S? No, lo que vamos a utilizar es la preposición of. Oh, for things, when we talk about something that does not belong to a person or animal, but is part of another thing, we, don't, we don't, do not use apostrophe. Yes, we usually use a phrase with of. Entonces, ¿qué dice acá? Que cuando tenemos, um, cuando hablamos de algo que no pertenece a una persona u animal, pero es parte de otra cosa, eh, no utilizamos apóstrofe S. Usualmente utilizamos una frase con of. Of, ¿ok? Y no es of, es of, con V, of, la pronunciación. The walls of the house, los muros de la casa. Entonces, ahí, incorrecto, right? The house walls, incorrecto. The roof of the house, el techo de la casa. Como por decir, las patas de la mesa, por ejemplo. The legs of the table, the house of the house, uh, the house roof. So that's not possible. Entonces, ahí no es posible con cosas. Okay. So now um, I'm just gonna pass the attendance list once more. And uh, okay, we're gonna continue tomorrow. Bueno, vamos a continuar mañana, chicos. Okay. okay. Solamente pasamos la asistencia por ahí. Me indican ahí si tienen alguna duda. Okay. Mientras vamos mencionándolos. Ok, a ver si se llevaron su estrellita este día. 
Ok, Calvin Alexander Hernández Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok, primer. Carmen Amada López. Carmen. Present. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, Cristian Corbera. Cristian, hello. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Dora Trinidad Cornejo Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Dora. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Present. Thank you. Eduardo Romero Reyes. Fátima Alexandra Martínez Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima Alexandra Pineda. Fernando Ramírez Monge. Present. Thank you. Gloria Evelyn Mengíbar. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva Cepeda. Present. Thank you. Jonathan David Martínez. Jose Carlos López. Jose Efraín Ramírez. Where is Jose? Jose Efraín Ramírez. Jocelyn Marlene Mengíbar. Juan Francisco Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alonso Lobato. Mario Present. Cristóbal. Ok. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Antonio Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. And William Vladimir Hernández Zapata. Present. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I'll see you next in our next class. So that's going to be tomorrow. So please work on the assignment in the platform. Okay, so nada más recordarles que ingresen a la plataforma y que completen su tarea número cuatro, okay? Vamos a ver. Y si hay alguna duda, quédense conmigo ahorita para que podamos ayudarles. Okay, so that's all for today, okay. guys. I'll see you in our next class. So it's going to be tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye, guys. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Okay. Questions. Vamos a ver. Preguntas, chicos. Eduardo, Jonathan, Mario. Preguntas, chicos. Díganme. Solamente, Dime. teacher, este, no sé, yo, a través de dónde me puedo meter a la plataforma. Ah, vaya, ahorita le voy a compartir el enlace, se llama. Ok, se lo voy a dictar online. Permítame. Online. O oh, lo voy a escribir, escribir aquí en, en el chat de Zoom. Online punto. Inglés corporativo. Uh -huh. Online, ahí está. Um, Verifica ahí en el meeting chat, en el chat de Zoom. Ok, de ahí lo voy a, lo voy a agarrar. Vaya, entonces no sé si es, todavía no la ha activado, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo no? Era, este, yo ya, ya estoy registrado. Ah. Lo que, el problema que tenía era que... No me acordaba que la, que la contraseña que se usaba era la genérica, la de 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, sí, sí. Ah, vaya, entonces no hay problema. Ah, sí. Ok, gracias. Feliz noche. Bye, bye, bye. Eduardo. Bueno. Sí,